I wanted to introduce you to a free program called V-Roid Studio, especially those of you without any fine art background like myself who enjoy being artistic and creative but need a bit of help and guide along that rough road. Also if you're into manga or anime style 3D you should definitely give this program a shot. I've put the link in the description. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun and enjoy it as much as I did. Also, please subscribe and leave a like if you like my content. When you open up the program you can choose a sample model. I suggest you work with sample models first before you create a completely new one. It takes a bit to load depending on your computer power I guess. It's right drag to rotate and middle drag to pan but you can assign something different to your buttons if you have a pen like I do. You have all kinds of parameter sliders to your right to play with so do try them and see if you like the result. You can choose a different face set or just a nice set. All the features are customizable, so have fun with them. You can move to different tabs such as hairstyle by clicking the appropriate one at the top. Let's try this hairstyle. I'm gonna undo that and take a look at the outfit tab. There's also the accessories tab where you can add things like glasses. What we're most interested in however is this button that has export as VRM option. I'm gonna click on that. It'll take a while and we're faced with this screen. Click on export and name it anything you want. And hit the export button again to save. Then what you want to do is duplicate the VRM file and rename it as a .glb file. Now let's hop into Blender and press File Import and choose GLFT 2.0. That was easy wasn't it? I'm gonna select all and rotate 180 degrees in the Z. Let's hide the bones for now and take a look. Beautiful isn't it? The cool thing is we can even texture paint to customize it further if we want. Let's select the face and go to texture paint workspace. We'll paint the eyelash pink just for fun. Undo that and paint again with symmetry on. Why don't we put on some blush?
I'm gonna choose hair next and go back to texture paint workspace. Just roughly changing the pin color to green. The armature got imported too so it's really easy to pose the character as well. Unhide the bones and check in front under viewport display. Choose pose mode from drop down menu and start rotating the bones. Let's hide this big root bone to see the leg bones better. There's the foot control bone. And even the toe control bone. I'm not gonna get into IK and FK bone constraints in this tutorial to avoid confusion. What I wanted to get across to you in this tutorial is that you don't have to make everything from scratch yourself. There are free programs like this to help you out. You do have to understand how things work and have basic knowledge of the 3D program you're working in, but once you grasp all that, it's not a sin to use the stuff that'll speed up your artistic process. I did go through modeling a character's base mesh and retopology etc. when I first started studying, but I would use whatever resources available like Vroid to have the base mesh ready if I were to model an anime character like this. I'll of course go through sculpting and retopology to make my own unique character, but it doesn't hurt to have a starting point. Hope this tutorial was helpful and I'll see you soon with another interesting tutorial. I might make a tutorial on Retopo Flow add-on next if you're interested, so leave a comment if you are, and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks for watching.